हरि ओम वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अष्टांग योग एट लिम्स ऑफ योग इन द नेम ऑफ पतांजलि गुरु वी और फोकसिंग अपॉन दीज प्रिंसिपल्स already we have discussed about ahimsa and satya now asteya what is asteya asteya is non stealing that is with the drawing one's stealing tendencies stealing is not a major problem in many of our lives because since childhood we are built so strong that even if something is lying on the ground openly we don't feel like touching it or taking or we never eye on somebody's property or even a small thing as the roots from childhood or very stronger maybe you might have found your co-students in the schools or colleges stealing something and as your nurturing is very stronger you might have run to your parents and might have complained that you see today this and this thing has happened in the school or college with the co student so the stealing normally starts from pencil eraser sharpener the child doesn't know the child thinks it's so beautiful i want but how beautifully our cultures have set up these kind of principles through our parents that even though we see beautiful things we never snatch from somebody else even though we like certain things we say wow and just keep quiet the nurture is is so strong how many years of practice that was all beautiful things beautiful principles beautiful etiquettes and habits are not built in a day years together we have practiced we are given practice now we give our children practice your children you train them from childhood and your constant care is only to nurture with certain etiquettes you may encounter such a problem not with your child but the co student in their institutions and in the play homes or in the schools or anywhere how do you handle that how did you handle if such and such thing has happened or if it has happened to any of your friend's child how did you handle or how did you suggest if it is for somebody else our rules are different if it is for our own kids the rules differ we nurture them we go very strict and we somehow try to manage 
to bring such a beautiful quality in the child so now as the roots are very stronger and the pillars are unshakable almost all of us are very safe but olden days they used to consider stealing is only for robbery thieves small small things when somebody steals they do not have much to steal anything because storage capacity or storage of things were not given much importance and whatever stealing happens that is only through big robbery that to in the night and they were in different attires and thieves and robbers so we were we might have heard lot of stories about it but now the definition of stealing is changed since many centuries india has been looted not only our country but there are many countries which were looted not alone by britishers but many other invaders but when it was history due to ignorance or due to too much of patience they couldn't encounter that and now in what way we are affected we have lost lot of valuable wealth and richness from our nations now we don't dig the past and go and loot those people who have looted us why because we always live in present and that is a history and that is a past and we accept and we believe in our strength that we can grow more and more richness in our countries and nations that is how everyone is surviving without attacking much of the past but the damage whatever has caused that we cannot bring it back but stealing is a stealing but present we can't do anything so we keep quiet just we see that and we tell the future generations that stealing is bad now in 21st century when we see how it is morphed few people rely on stealing in the name of business few people in a very sophisticated way they do hacking stealing can be anything when you are going on road it can be a purse or your vehicle or a kidnap anything is just stealing and hackers stealing is something very sophisticated way they steal the data without our permission and these other connections are also there like bribe corruption and all these are stealing cheating 
in the name of certain goods everything now people they do not consider that as a problem because they have to go and survive with whatever is happening around otherwise they go mad for everything if you point it somebody else it is not possible if million people are on the same path and if you find the entire path is wrong you can't do anything you can try to point that in a healthy way by saying that whole world is corrupted like this but you cannot keep on thinking changing the entire environment within a day when we try something then it is a opening payment for the future generations but we need to observe what are the areas of stealing when someone comes to you how do we handle that is more important whether this is stealing or not when someone got permission to do something that is not a stealing when cyber crime or other things they give you permission to hack someone it is not stealing it is to safeguard people so likewise when someone comes to us in seeking some suggestion about stealing we should know what is stealing if we keep aside all these things first of all we should also focus on one point why people steal one is it is a habit they can't resist another they feel they can fool others and another they don't find any other way so they think this is the only way like hackers and but the most vulnerable thing is stealing for food hunger that we need not experience but we can understand hunger is such a basic necessity for 4 5 days a person doesn't have food what virtue can we teach can we teach that person not to steal that is wrong there are other ways but right that moment we cannot teach that person but if we can give food to that person when it is necessity then we can think of teaching something some etiquettes likewise poverty has emerged and to avoid that begging has emerged begging is not so easy in the path of enlightenment most of the saints are suggested to beg to leave their ego they beg it is very difficult for a person who has lived a principled life 
to beg. It is very difficult. So in that process of spiritual journey, the ultimate sublime kind of etiquettes have to be dropped. That is completely different from a hungry person. Hungry person begs that is far, far better than stealing. So, but everything in orphanages and all, normally, when we do counseling, we first give them something, gift them something or give food. Then we tell something, they listen because their necessity is met. So why we have to analyze on all these things? When you want to be a good practitioner or a good trainer, if you want to really serve some people, we should not be hesitant facing certain odds. We should understand their misery and depending on the situation we need to suggest and people may question you you do not know this problem you have never experienced you can say I have done fasting I know what is hunger but no Fasting is done with acceptance. Hunger is with non-acceptance. When you want to have something and when you don't get, that is real pain. When you have acceptance and you don't want it, you forcibly, even though you want, you resist. There is a beauty in that. So, for everything you need not experience, but mentally you can experience, you can wear the shoes of others in the sense, like empathy. Empathy is very much important. Normally when we suggest our friends, we show sympathy. Sympathy aggravates anybody's pain, but empathy will not ridicule anyone's pain or wrongly suggest anybody's pain. Or first of all, instead of understanding others, you should not pain yourself. Paining oneself is more painful and people, they simply think that we should not pain others, but we can pain others, pain ourselves. That is also wrong. When we understand any situation, there is no pain. When really there is a problem, instead of feeling bad inside, you should only work for that, that moment. These kind of practices and these kind of principles, like Astanga Yoga, gives us a clarity in life. When you alone think, read books or just see certain things, you cannot experience those. But when you do sadhana, regular, and when you go deep inside your mind and you find that there is something beyond mind, then definitely you will be a real guru. I wish you all to be very good and healthy gurus, Patanjali gurus. So now let us move to the fourth point. We have finished off with this. Next is Brahmacharya. Let us look into the other audio. Hari Om Tatsatya.